So welcome all to this Wednesday meditation practice. Invite you just to find your settled, comfortable position. Taking all necessary steps to be silent, so no distractions, as much as possible. And for this whole time that we're together, just decide for yourself what you would like from this time. What would you like for yourself? Just think of a quality that you would like for yourself. Good. So very gently resting your eyes, closing them if they're not already. Taking a lovely deep breath in and out. And one more breath in and out nice and slowly. And we check in with ourselves how we are at this very moment. Just asking yourself, how am I? What are my experiences now? Noticing your mind, standing back, watching, just notice whether your mind is very active or if it's relatively quiet. And then gently dropping your attention down into your body and here just notice, are there any emotions, anything palpable, any feelings? And if you're aware of something, just notice where in your body it is. Is it large? Is it small? Again, stepping back, just observing it for what it is, a sensation. And then notice your body. Your feet on the floor, or where they're resting, your body on the chair, or on the cushion, whatever you're sitting on, notice your posture. Doing a brief scan of your whole self, not to find anything in particular, but just noticing what you are aware of. Clothing against your skin, temperature. Notice your face, your facial expression. And these are your experiences, your thinking, your feelings and your body. And then settle your attention for the rest of this short practice on your breathing. Just following what's already happening. These short practices are an opportunity to warm up our attention muscles. 
to settle our awareness, in other words. Part of that awareness training is recognizing when your mind wanders, whether it's sound or whether it's thoughts. That's an opportunity to notice that your mind has wandered and then to gently guide it back to the breath and your body. So very gently expanding your awareness now, be aware of your whole body, your feet, your legs, your body on the chair or cushion, your back, arms, hands and fingers. Breathe into this body and as you exhale, very gently bringing your awareness back and you can either open your eyes or you can carry on with soft eyes as I introduce the sort of theme I suppose for our main practice which as I said at the beginning we're going to be looking at this notion of suffering and in sort of Buddhist parlance or philosophy it's called dukkha and this notion of suffering is around how we experience our experiences. In other words, how we relate to our experiences will denote how much we suffer. So for example, every emotion that we experience is as a result of what we perceive, what the brain perceives. And our relationship with that emotion will define how much we suffer, if that makes sense. So what we try to do in practice is to be aware of emotion and to be aware of our attachment to things. And this is where it can get quite complicated, but I'm just going to be quite brief here, is that in practice, and this is the real lovely nugget of this, is we practice non-attachment. So in practice, if we're aware of a strong feeling or a desire to change something or for something to be another way, then that's an opportunity to step back, to really step back and to create that slight detachment or non-attachment. So I'll just leave that as a possibility, this idea of non-attachment. And while I was thinking about how to best to phrase this very vast subject, I immediately thought of the line from Hamlet where he says to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether to suffer, whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them. And what Shakespeare is saying is that within the mind we are continually suffering the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, of, opportun of, of, of opportunities, of, of events. And the choice is whether just to sit with it or to take arms against those sea of troubles, oppose them, detach yourself from them and perhaps end them. So on that dramatic note, we're going to go into our practice and I invite you to let everything that I've said fade away. 
So your eyes now gently closed. Imagine or be aware of snow falling or dust falling or rain falling and everything that I've just said, all those possibilities, just letting them settle, settle down around your feet. And as we go into the main part of our practice, just rechecking in with yourself. Inquire how you are. By observing your thinking, be curious about the mechanics of our mind. Dropping your attention down into your body, be aware of any feelings. And again, just separating yourself, watching whatever is there with a sense of openness and curiosity. Reminding yourself they are just sensations in the body. They're neither good nor bad. They're just sensations. And then notice your body. You've been sitting for quite a while, so just notice any sensations that might have arisen. gently place if you find this comforting or comfortable place one hand on your belly just to give you that anchor that physical anchor to which you can return every time your mind wanders and so settling your attention on that physical movement of the breath Remembering that the practice of meditation is very simple. Another phrase for it is starting over. Each time your mind wanders, you start again and again. But it's how we relate to that that makes the difference. And in practice, how we relate to the thoughts and the feelings that pass us. And if we can sit and watch them from a distance with that sense of non-attachment.
if you find yourself wondering if you're doing things right then just notice that attachment to an ideal and then step back having noticed that and be kind to yourself and let it go there's nothing to achieve just say to yourself nothing to achieve and drop gently back to the breath Sometimes using little phrases to help keep you on the breath. Like I'm breathing in as you breathe in and I'm breathing out on the out breath can be very helpful. aware of when your mind does wonder whether it's in the future or if it's in the past. Either planning or dreaming. And then gently with curiosity guide it back to the breath. be content with simply following the breath, aware of sensations, can we allow that to be enough for ourselves now?
when your mind starts tapping away at you with agendas, plans. Or other thoughts about the future. Just thank it. And gently return to your body and your breath. Notice any sensations that have crept into your body while we've been sitting. See if you can notice them for what they are. They're just sensations. They're neither good nor bad. If it's a challenge, ask yourself, can I be with this sensation now? and breathe into it. And just sit and watch. It's always lovely to bring that sense of kindness to ourselves, a sense of gratitude for giving ourselves this breathing space, not to solve anything but simply just to sit and breathe and to be with our experiences, to give ourselves this break. So bring to your face that half smile. And just say thank you to yourself three times. Very gently expanding your awareness from the focus of the breath and your body expanding it like a light expanding spotlight being aware of your whole body your feet on the floor wherever you're sitting however you're sitting your posture arms hands and fingers facial expression and breathe into this wonderful body and exhale decide what you'd like to take with you from this practice into the next moment of your day or evening And very gently, in your own way, in your own time, softly opening your eyes, 
bringing your awareness back into the room.